hello guys today we're going to talk about sequencer load instruction and uh, where you can use them let's say in industry you have a uh, three machinery which is sending data or you need to pull the data from and need to pull data from machinery to your plc program let's say so over there you can pull the data from sequencer load and it has to be in sequence so let's say I'm using here word B3 column 0 and the length of this word I'm using 3 so B3 column 0 is right here I'm starting from here so it's my step 0 I'm using 3 so it's gonna count like 1 2 and 3 I'm putting in decimal so you can see that so it's 0 step 0 step 1 step 2 step 3 or data from machine 1 machine 2 machine 3 and I already put some data over here in in TJ data table so machine let's say this is 0 machine 1 is sending data 251 machine 2 is sending data 111 machine 3 is sending data 351 but they're changing accordingly and you need to keep putting that data of every three seconds let's say so I already put timer over here which gonna reset every three second and let's say to turn this bit on I use b3 column 10 slash 1 to turn that on as you can see as soon as I'm gonna turn this on it's gonna start pulling that accordingly in a sequence so it's my step 1 step 2 and step 3 let's say next time step 3 has 555 so it's gonna pull step 2 and it's gonna pull step 3 555 let's say step 2 is now 525 five. it's gonna pull step 2 now and then step 3 is 555 again it go back to 1 again in order to reset your SQL you're gonna toggle this bit and uh, your position for your sequence will go back to zero thank you for watching